Well, the first part of my holiday in Hainan is over and I'm headed back to Shanghai. I'm at the airport here in Sanya and uh, let's see how it is. There's a long line, but it's actually moving fairly quickly. Coming to the airport was actually not so bad. I had my COVID test yesterday, so uh, it came up on my health code. There wasn't like a massive line. Um, it was pretty quick getting in. We'll see how security is and we'll see how it is when I get to Shanghai. All right, so security was really quick and the check-in was really quick. Uh, and I just have to say, uh, this is probably one of the best airports that I've been to in China. And ironically, it's not the biggest. Um, in fact, it would probably be a fifth or the, a sixth the size of Pudong. But the difference and why I think it's so good is because it's fully staffed. You've got some of these other airports like Pudong, not Hongqiao, I'll give Hongqiao credit, but Pudong, it's massive ceilings and tons of terminals and tons of counters, but there's usually not enough staff and it's, it's, it's just, it's not that busy of an airport anyway. There's usually not that many staff and then you just get this massive bottleneck and there's so much waiting. And also the airport is massive and it doesn't need to be. See, I'm already at my gate here, like pretty much at my gate here in Sanya because airports don't need to have satellite terminals and trains that take you to them if they're not that busy of airport. So I really like this Hainan airport because it's simple and it's staffed. I wish more airports could be like this. This airport actually reminds me of airports back home because you check in, you go through security and then you're there. And the airport is as big as it needs to be. All right, so kudos to the Sanya airport. Put on, you need to do better. All right, we're boarding. So far, the Hainan end of this trip has been pretty easy. So, next stop, Shanghai. All right, so after a three hour and 20 minute flight, I'm back in Shanghai. Let's find out how this process is. Um, so I was just talking about how leaving Hainan was fairly easy. When we got to Hainan, it was pretty difficult. So we'll see what it's like here. Um, my friend said it was pretty easy. So hopefully that not so much has changed in the last few days but I do gotta go get a COVID test tonight and I have no idea where I'm gonna do that because that is, most places will be shut, but there's definitely somewhere in the city I can get it within 24 hours. So let's get that done. Okay, so it was really quick going through. Um, you just had to have your codes ready, but they didn't even really look at it in detail. But now I've gotta get my bag and I've gotta find somewhere tonight where I can go get a COVID test because it takes about 12 hours to get the result and I need to be able to do things tomorrow. So I can't wake up early, go get one. I've gotta get one tonight. So, also I'm really upset because I just got a, a notice that, oh, whatever. All right, so I found a 24 hour COVID testing center right by my house. So, we're gonna be all good for tomorrow. This concludes the end of my Sanya trip. If any of you ever get a chance, go to Sanya, check it out. As I said in my previous videos, Sanya Bay, Yalong Bay, Hohai Bay, or Haitang Bay, it's all amazing. All right, I'm not gonna make any videos for a while until my next trip. So, I'll see you next time.